Today we celebrate the legacy of the labor movement activist Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez Day was made a federal holiday by President Barack Obama in 2014. Chavez founded the National Farm Workers Association and won victories to raise pay and improve working conditions for farm workers in the late 60s and 70s. Chavez died in 1993. Most schools along with city and county offices were closed today. And joining me now to talk more about the importance of the day is CEO of the Chicano Federation, Liz Ramirez. Liz, good to see you tonight. Thank you for having me. Well, share with us, what do you think is the most important thing that everyone needs to know about the life and accomplishments of Cesar Chavez? Yeah, I think Cesar Chavez did so much for the community. Not only, you know, he fought for uh, migrant workers, but he taught us uh, to lead a life with nonviolence, to embrace diversity and accepting of all. And most of all, he uh, taught us to put uh, others before selves and really work in community. So how important is it that we now have a holiday to really take that time to remember and discuss what he did? Yeah, I think it's so important to honor his legacy and really honor our story, right? Especially uh, Latinos. And it's so important to have a holiday to commemorate uh, Cesar Chavez for all of his hard work. And he continues to be a legacy and continues to be an inspiration for, for many um, to continue to do the work that we still have to do on a daily basis to fight for a more just world uh, where, you know, all of us can be equal and have a uh, the same access to opportunities. So today I know the Chicano Federation held a day of service in honor of Cesar Chavez. What'd you do today? Yeah, so we were at one of our nine uh, affordable housing buildings and uh, we have over 300 units uh, available for families and individuals. And we uh, re-beautified one of our community garden. We did some painting, built some benches. We did some planting. Uh, we really wanted to make a safe space for the tenants to enjoy. And that's what we did with the help of over 50 volunteers. Does uh, something like that, you know, as you're out beautifying this apartment complex, are you able to also discuss the why behind what you're doing there? Absolutely. That's the first thing that we did. We got the group together. We talked about the importance of Cesar Chavez's uh, legacy and how important it is for us to continue to build in community, to work together to make San Diego a better place. So we definitely pay tribute to that. And how were some of the residents there reacting to what you were doing and what you were saying? Yeah, I think people are really excited to have the space. We haven't utilized the space much. And so the tenants are just excited to have a space where they can enjoy and you know have a safe space to be with family and be with one another. As a Latina, the CEO of the Chicano Federation, what does Cesar Chavez mean to you personally? Yeah, I mean, I think Cesar Chavez really reminds me of uh, my family, right? I grew up in Imperial Valley. My parents, my grandparents, they were land workers. Um, and so really, Cesar Chavez reminds me of the struggle of my own family. Um, and it's so uh, nice to have someone uh, at, at to look up to and and to commemorate and honor because uh, he his honor you know we we're still fighting for things to this day um, and so he th taught us to live a life of you know respect um, to be inclusive and to really you know fight to make communities great and um, those are the same values that Chicano Federation lives for today definitely carrying on his legacy Liz thank you so much for your time tonight appreciate it yeah. thank you. All right.